And whom do they encounter in midstream but the irrepressible Prime Minister, who has come to see for himself. With Field Marshal Montgomery and American generals of the 21st Army Group, Mr. Churchill crosses the Rhine and comes ashore. Pulling on his cigar in obvious satisfaction, he chats with a group of British Tommies. And though his aides try in vain to dissuade him, he insists on touring the ground from which German troops had been driven only a few hours before. Shell and mortar fire landed not 50 yards away. Later, he takes a look at German positions still under fire. With General Eisenhower, he watches the artisans of victory, who from east and west are driving the giant blows, speeding the hour the whole world has awaited for over five bitter years. 